the style of art that we focus on on our monthly uh, gallery shows is considered pop surrealism and lowbrow art. Pop surrealism is very characteristic and figurative in nature, and it's focused on the pop culture aspect of life. Most uh, vinyl toys are either made from vinyl or ABS plastic generally. There are some that are rotocast vinyl, which is just in terms of how they are made, and that means that they have a hollow body. There are things such as Japanese vinyl, which is a particular type of vinyl that's used to create the characters. And uh, they're also referred to as kaju, which means, Jap or means monster in Japanese. There are also things called DIY toys, which are typically blank. And that's basically to allow anyone to be the, their own artist and create their own design for toys. And they use a polymer or something like that? Like what, what are they made of? Like that white stuff that we're seeing? Um, well, they're still vinyl. Uh, some are pla the ABS plastic, but typically they are vinyl. Well, what exactly do you mean by vinyl? Pardon my ignorance. Uh, that's just a particular material that they're made from. They're um, somewhat more giving than ABS plastic. So for example, let's say I want to purchase this little guy right here. His name is Pusher. Die by Thomas Han, six, fin uh, six inch figure, $40. Uh, the artist, Thomas Han, is, he, he, he did this, what, what I'm seeing right now. I can take this home, purchase it, and I can color it. Like, uh, what ideas would you have for me to, uh, to do with this? What, what, what could I do with this little toy right here? Well, um, yes. However, he does have a couple of the same figures that are done in designs already that we also have in here. Um, that particular figure, it's probably, easiest for most people to use acrylic paints on them. Some people do choose to use paint markers and very few that I know choose to use oil paints. It just depends on what you're most comfortable with using. Um, typically if you get any of the ABS plastic, uh, just because it's not as giving as the other figures, uh, you normally typically have to prime it first to allow the paint to adhere better. This one would be the non-DIY version. DIY for do-it-yourself. Mm -hmm. And um, of these toys that I'm seeing here, like, like, uh, which one would be the like the most expensive one? Like, like if I wanted to splurge, like the most expensive ones. Or... Uh, the most expensive ones that we currently have are the Pochiman by Frank Kosick. And typically toys range uh, anywhere from $5 up to, I think currently the, the most expensive piece that we have in here is $300. Pricing is generally based on the edition run as well as the manufacturer, the detail that's involved in producing the toys, and also considerations given by the actual toy um, design and toy company. Okay, so Tim is the artist, and this is another design by him. So it's very different. You can still tell somewhat in the face design, but otherwise it's just a completely different style. This guy right here could be from Star Wars. <laughs> so that's like a turtle? Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. Yeah, Marita. You got the robot turtle. And the other one looks like from Super Mario Brothers. <laughs>